A samurai cannot stand the shame of defeat. I was honored to cut off his head. This is Ken Watanabe, a Japanese actor known for his performances in The Last Samurai, Letters from Iwo Jima, and he currently stars in Pokemon Detective Pikachu, as well as Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Before being introduced to Western audiences, Ken made a career out of playing samurai characters. After becoming a part of the prestigious Tokyo-based theater troupe N, he became known in Japan for playing samurai, most notably in this 50-episode TV series Dokogan Ryu Masamune. Ken worked a lot, but then in the early 90s he took a break after suffering from leukemia, which accounts for this gap on his IMDb page. But he eventually recovered in the late 90s and early 2000s with a string of critically praised performances garnering supporting actor nominations at the Japanese Academy Awards. Then in 2004, Ken got an American Academy Award nomination for his portrayal of Lord Katsumoto in The Last Samurai. Ken's portrayal of Katsumoto is the definition of poise and dignity dignity as he nurses Tom Cruise's character back to health and teaches him the ways of the samurai. You believe a man can change his destiny. This was Ken's first English-speaking role and introduced him to Western audiences, paving the way for other period dramas like Memoirs of a Geisha and Letters from Iwo Jima, as well as big action blockbusters like Batman Begins, Inception, and Godzilla. Let them fight. But he still kept his foot in Japanese cinema. For instance, one particular film for which he received immense praise was Memories of Tomorrow, in which his character, a workaholic businessman, begins to deteriorate slowly from early onset Alzheimer's. For his performance, Ken won the Japanese Academy Award for Lead Actor. Recently, in addition to Detective Pikachu and the Godzilla sequel, Ken has continued to act on stage, appearing as the title character in a revival of the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, The King and I at the London Palladium. But your head shall never be high on the mind. If I shall sit, you shall sit. He had previously played the role in 2015, becoming the first Japanese actor to be nominated for a Tony for lead actor in a musical. Ken Watanabe's ability to portray characters who are wise, powerful, stoic, sometimes imposing but always compelling, has propelled him to the forefront as one of the most successful Japanese actors to garner an international following. Whatever he does next, his career will continue to stand the test of time.